Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we made a video a few years ago about how to make a coming soon page quickly with the Divi theme. Now it's come a long way since then so I thought I'd do a new one as we've had a few questions on that old video. So we're going to put this site together really quickly and as you can see there's no menu or anything so you can use it on an existing site. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is create a new page. Okay, and as this is a coming soon page that we don't want to display an existing menu or any menu at all, we want to go down to our right hand side here where it says template under page attributes. Yours may be closed. If it's closed, just hit the chevron to open it. For the template, just select blank page save the draft now we'll give our page a title obviously whatever you want to call yours and we'll use the Divi Builder and we'll build from scratch and let's just put a single row in single column and let's put in a countdown timer well, perhaps we'd like a logo at the top. Let's put a logo at the top first. So to do that, I'm just going to use a simple image module. Divi comes as standard with all these modules right here. I've got my little white logo. I'm going to put a dark background in, so I'm going to use light colors for this. There's my little light logo. You can barely see it up there, but we'll change that one in a moment. Design wise, I want it to be in the middle, so I'm going to go over to Design tab, Alignment, and pop it in the middle right there. Okay, before we do everything else, let's put a dark background in here, or a background that we want to work with. So to do that, I'm going to go up to the section. I'm going to hit the little cog there. I'm going to go down to Background. I'm actually going to use a color and an image, and we're going to blend them together to make a more striking background. So color wise, I'm just going to put a purple in. Obviously you use what any, whatever color you wish. And as with all Divi modules, you've got a little drop down, the three little dots there. You can extend your palettes for different colors down there. Or of course, put in any hex code that you want. I'm also going to add an image in the background there. So I'm going to go over to image. I'm going to say add background image. And let's use a dark image. There we go. And you've got color gradient image that we just use and video if you want to put a video background in. Okay, well that's kind of going to work, but I want to blend it with that purple color to make it look even more striking. So just down below the image itself, go down to background image blend. I'm going to use multiply. And I like the effect that's given me. They've got some fantastic effects here. If you go in there, Color Dodge, that's another great one. Soft Light. Hue, Saturation. You can get some fantastic effects going. So play with them. I'm going to use Multiply for this today. Okay, as this is a landing page and we're going to have a logo, a countdown timer, and perhaps a little contact form, I want it to display full width on all devices. I want it to cover the screen on any device it's being used. So let's go back into our section again, the blue tab. I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go to sizing. I'm going to roll down a bit and in height, I'm going to type in 100 VH for 100 of the viewable height of any screen that it's on. So it's 100 VH. Then any device that it's viewed on will fill out the full amount of the screen there. And as you can see, or as you can't see, we've got no menu or footer involved here, which is great. Okay, well, let's add the other elements. I'm going to save the section settings there. And after my little logo, I'm going to hit the little dark plus icon to add a new module. And this time we'll put in a, a countdown timer. There it is. It puts a background in by default there. Title wise, uh, let's put in site coming soon or whatever it is you want to write in yours. There it is right there. 
choose the date where date today is June 2nd yeah let's say July 4th so I flipped it forward July 4th time it's set to 1744 let's say 9 a.m. so you can do the hour with this one 9 and the minute with this one I'll take it all the way down there we go so we've got 9 a.m. on the 4th of July 2021 and it's going to count down to there now I don't want a background in there if you do fine leave it or change it we're still in the content tab we'll go to background just gonna hit the trash can to delete it obviously you can put one in of your own there and same options you've got gradient image or video as well as color that's great the only other thing I want to do there is add a contact form underneath if you want to edit the colors and things that are going on there simply go into the design I'm quite happy with that white on this background it works fine you can go into title text numbers text separated text labels text and style them how you wish with the options there i'm leaving mine just as they are and if you hover over one of these you can see it highlights it in the blue little box there showing you what is it you're editing okay well let's add our little coming soon again i'm just going to hit the little plus to add a new module and we've got our logo countdown type timer and title there let's add just a simple contact form there's the default one that it puts in there for you now I think I'll have the name email address on separate lines so I'm going to go into this one there it is name right there I'm going to go to design layout I'm going to make that full width and I'm going to do exactly the same for the email one down below going to go into their little cog design layout make full width great now I want to make these a little rounded so to do that doesn't matter really which one I'm in I'm just going to save this let's go into our name I'm going to go over to design I'm going to go to fields here's the background color I really don't want a background color in there so I'm going to make it transparent as you can see it's disappeared right there text color I want to make white as you can see that's popped white right there focus background color well I'm gonna make that white but with a very low opacity so it's more of a light gray so I'm gonna take the opacity slider all the way down and as you can see you've got a sort of light gray background in there when they're typing in it focus text color I want that to be white don't want to change the font or anything Divi comes with a ridiculous amount of fonts just click on there hover over one it'll audition it for you but I'm happy with the default right there text size is absolutely fine everything like that the only other thing I want to give it some round borders so I'm going to go into border I'm going to give it the size border that I want say two pixels barely see it there I'm going to make mine white and I want it to have rounded corners so I'm going to go up to border radius input rounded corners here I'm going to put a reasonably high one in there say 50 there we go we've got nice round borders there as long as you've got that chain highlighted it'll do all four at once okay instead of having to go into all of these separately what I'm going to do is save this I'm going to right click on the one that we've done there I'm going to say copy item styles and I'm going to paste them in the one below paste item styles and paste item styles in the message as well there we go so how quick was that now we're in the main contact form settings now text we can give it a title let's say contact us see it there we'll make that white in a minute success message that's what's going to pop up when they send the message submit I'm happy to have that say submit you can write in whatever you want there important one here where you want it to go email address me at my email.com and if you want to redirect you can redirect them to a page or to wherever you want to up there I'm going to leave mine just where it is with the pop-up message spam protection we've got a little capture right there which is fine you can use 
a service like Google Capture if you want to there, but I'm happy with that one. Don't want any link, don't want any background. Let's go into our design now. And right up at the top, fields we've done already. Text, I'm gonna pop all the text in the middle right there. Can't see our contact us very much there. I don't wanna change anything else. But here's the title text. I'm just gonna turn that one white. Now we're almost there. Only thing I wanna go down, change that capture color down there. Capture text. I'm gonna make that white in color. And let's just change our button down there. Here's the button. And we can use custom styles for the button. And all I'm gonna do is change the text to white. I'll make that white all the way around. And we'll give it a border. We've got a border on there of two, but I, again, I wanna make mine a bit more rounded. So here's the border radius for this. Again, I'm gonna ramp that up to 50. I'll make it a little rounded button, fantastic. Don't wanna change button letter spacing or anything like that. A border color, I think I'll change that to green on hover. Common to most Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing there, some little icons will pop up. If there's a little arrow, it'll let you set a regular state, which we're looking at now with no mouse on it, and a hover state with your mouse on it. So I'm going to change the hover state to green, so it's got a green border. Great. So I think we're about done here. Save our changes. We'll save the page changes. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And this will work on, on tablet, as you can see there, we've got it on tablet and on mobile. And like I say, it's gonna fill out the whole of the area of whatever device they're looking at it. So we can exit now. And the only thing left to do, obviously if it's coming soon page, you're gonna to wanna to set it to your home page. To do that, go to your dashboard, go down to appearance, customize, and go to your home page settings and set it as a static page and choose the page you've just published. I can't do it because mine's still a draft and it won't appear there, but you just need to select your home page. And when you've published it, it'll pop up here. Hit publish when you're ready and you're good to go. And there's a little coming soon page. And we've done that in about 15 minutes. Really easy to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.